Hello Leo, thank you so much for checking out this video. This will be a love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Leo watching. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, this will be a message for those that need to hear it, okay? So I'm going to be looking at love. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. I especially want to thank those of you who have left me such kind comments. I read them all and I really appreciate that you take the time to send out so much positivity. I have really been needing it lately, so thank you very much. All right, guys, let's see what we have for Leo. The message is I'm going to take this one. All right, Leo, let's see what we got. We got patience. The card reminds me of the temperance card in the tarot. We got movement. Some of you could be wanting to get moving <laughs> and maybe are not feeling very patient right now. Into the unknown. Interesting. So I'm seeing some sort of path here that you have been either patiently waiting to open or impatiently waiting possibly here. Um, I feel like that this is not somewhere or someone that you have been with because this is into the unknown. So you could be headed towards someone here that you um, haven't dealt with in the past. We'll see. Um, there's something here, uh, something that's happening there's action, there's movement here, literally movement. And this is a 28, so two and eight is 10. So um, the culmination of something. I feel like there's been some sort of culmination that is moving you into something unknown. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo in regards to love? Messages for Leo, please. All right, Leo. Just, okay, let's see what we have for you, Leo. Whatever situation I talk about today, Leo, time is fluid. So it could have already happened, be currently happening, or it could happen in the near future. Roles can also be reversed. I know I've been confusing some people. This one wanted to come out reversed. I know I've been confusing some people. Um, when I say um, someone, this person, that person, um, it's because I'm trying to keep in mind everybody watching. There's a lot of messages that are coming through, so please be patient. As I say that, my cards just go crazy. Please be patient with me as I try to interpret all the messages that I'm being given. Oh, I'm told to put these back. Sorry. Um, so, anyways, what I'm trying to say is um, it could be vice versa. So I could be talking about the person you're connecting with, or I could be talking about you. So flip the rules as they resonate and I'll try not to get too confusing. <laughs> so what messages do you have for Leo? So far we got five of pentacles reverse and justice reverse. <sighs> Strong energy there with the justice reverse. I'm not sure what's happening with my cards today. I keep wanting to wait for spirit to tell me to pick a card. Yep. Okay. So we got three um, reversals right off the bat. Five of Pentacles reverse. This card to me signifies coming out of the cold. Someone possibly trying to come back in. Um, someone um, that you maybe are not connecting with right now, wanting to reconnect possibly. This could also be someone who is still stuck in the struggle. So we'll see what we get when we clarify, but um, because I have justice in the reverse, this is something that's unfair. Not on your side, something has happened here that has not played out in your favor. Um, I feel like possibly because of that, I have someone here who is still feeling like they're struggling, possibly. Um, and then I have the nine of pentacles reverse. So this to me signifies someone who's lost a little bit of confidence, lost some self-esteem, doesn't feel as secure or as sure. Um, as they once were doesn't feel as stable as they once were um, someone here could be dealing with financial struggles 
because of something unfair that has happened and we know why that could be. So let's keep it moving. Tell me about movement. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. I was, I was asking spirit to clarify uh, patience. And um, those are the three cards I got. So now I'm gonna ask him or her <laughs> to clarify movement. Spirit, why is movement here? Sometimes I forget to say things out loud. For Leo spirit, why is movement here? What's this movement about? Queen of Wands in reverse. Interesting. This is someone craving attention, someone who's a little bit bossy. Queen of Wands reverse. She can also be a little bit selfish. She cares a little bit too much about the instant gratification. This could also be a home record. That's my home record card. <laughs> Um, you could be moving away from this energy of someone being a little bit kind of over the top. Queen of Wands, she could be um, really over the top, really um, extra, um, gets very angry, short temper. Why is movement here? Four of Pentacles reversed. Interesting. This is someone who is either letting go of something or just cannot let go for the life of them. Like they're being extremely selfish, refusing to let go here. Let's see what else we get. Cause that could mean a few things. This is also my card of someone finally speaking up. It's like someone was holding on to something for so long and they're finally ready to just kind of let it all out. It's almost like an outburst and coupled with the Queen of Wands. This could be somebody here that has finally had it. This could be someone that's completely over a situation, ready to let go of a situation um, here completely and move on. Tell me more about movement. Whew. Hierophant Reverse. So Hierophant Reverse is someone who could be by the way, we're getting all of these are reversals. And I shuffled the deck before the reading. Okay, so um, Hierophant Reverse, this is someone who could be trying to break free from social expectations, social norms. Um, someone who could be um, wanting to rebel in a sense. Um, this is someone who cared about outward appearances or following, you know, whatever everybody else is doing. This could be the end of a commitment. This could be the end of someone um, being traditional. So it's almost like I'm really getting a, like effort energy here. Like someone doesn't even care how they appear to other people at this point. They just want to get out. Seven of Cups upright. I think someone's realizing they have options here. That there are different ways to go about this. Tell me about Into the Unknown. For Leo. I feel like a lot of you have been really patient, but it hasn't been working out. All that it's caused you is instability and stress. Tell me about the into the unknown. The hermit. Beautiful energy. Some of you are withdrawing, seeking wisdom, listening to your inner voice. Knight of Swords reverse. Interesting. This is not this is someone who's not on your side, Knight of Swords reverse. This is someone who could be um impulsive with what they say. They can, it's like they say things that they can't take back. This is also my card of like blocked truth, blocked communication. So you could be blocking someone here and withdrawing. It's like you don't want to talk to anybody, you want to hear from anybody. You want to do this on your own. You're going on a personal journey here. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Taurus, or a, Her or a Virgo. I was going to say or a Hermit. <laughs> a Libra, a Taurus, or a Virgo. You could also be dealing with a Fire sign or an Earth sign. Or a Air sign, actually, too. What else can you tell me about Into the Unknown? And I'm going to clarify all of these further. Nine of Wands. Someone here is guarded, 
protective of they've been through a lot I feel like someone has had enough I just keep getting that energy the moon reversed so something came to light here something was revealed possibly something that deep down you already knew was the truth um you were you suspect you suspected it all along and it finally came out and it was like a huge disruption for you it wasn't fair to you you're now struggling because of it um you want to move on you're over it um you're breaking free of expectations um you're no longer holding back and i feel like it doesn't matter what anybody tells you or um you're going to do what you need to do for yourself to protect yourself here you're going to be guarded you're putting up walls to protect yourself you're withdrawing um possibly you could have blocked someone or this could just be painful communication coming in um but it doesn't it doesn't matter it's not going to change the fact that you already found out you know you that whoever hurt you whoever tried to do one over on you like you found out what it was and it was very disappointing five of cups behind that so let's clarify these spirit help me clarify these energies please for leo you might have been really patient with this person leo and they just took it a step too far others of you have been patiently waiting for the right time to make your move and it was like something happened to force your hand tell me about the five of pentacles reversed is the five of pentacles reversed queen of pentacles okay um tell me more tell me more about this five of pentacles reverse please <gasps> the emperor okay some of you could have been married to this person some of you could be dealing with an aries this could be a work situation this could be a boss with the emperor This emperor could be wanting to get back to his queen of pentacles coming out of the cold here. The emperor, this is someone who's finding their confidence again, their stability again. I have page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. So you could have gotten an offer from someone a message from someone that is going to possibly take you out of this struggle mentality out of feeling left out someone could be wanting to offer you something here stable um, they view you as a queen of Pentacles energy and like a future partner here However, something here was unfair. Tell me more about justice reversed. Why is justice reversed here? This could also be you, Leo, coming back into power, taking control over situation. Your goal is to be stable financially and emotionally. Queen of Swords. Wow. You know that something was unfair. This is not this is not uh, hidden from you. This is not a secret. You're looking at this situation with a clear head. Yep. But it's renewed interest. You're you're making a choice. Something happened with this justice card reversed. That has changed things for you. There could be four people involved here, possibly five people involved in this situation. Um, I feel like someone here is recently out of a commitment, possibly. 
This could have been a divorce with justice in reverse that did not go your way or vice versa. Because of this injustice, someone is seeing clearly, someone is using their intellect here to make a new decision. There's been renewed interest here. So this could go many different ways. This could be somebody that you're interested in that was in a commitment and they got out of a commitment to make a different choice here. This could be you leaving a commitment because you're over it. You're over the instability. This could be something that happened at work where a boss or something like that is helping you get out of the cold. Maybe you're getting a new job or something like that. Maybe you recently lost your job and it was very unfair. Tell me more about this Four of Cups reversed. High Priestess reversed. Someone was ignoring their intuition here. Hold on, sorry. I didn't know you couldn't see that. Somebody was ignoring their intuition here for a while, it seems like. Excuse me, guys. Bear with me. Um, but I feel like they know now. I have five of cups reversed. So this is somebody that is possibly either stuck in the past and can't get over something or someone who is getting back something that they lost. That's the thing with reversals. There's a lot of meanings. Tell me about the nine of pentacles reversed. I'm going to put them back. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles reverse, please, for Leo. Eight of Pentacles. Effort. Someone's hard at work here. Again, this could be a work situation where someone found another job, is able to build their stability again here. Oh my gosh. Tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles reverse. But Nine of Pentacles reverse, this is somebody either, if, if it's not somebody that's recently single, or this could be somebody that was in a commitment at one point, but with justice reverse, I'm getting the sense this was a broken commitment or something here happened. But this is somebody that feels very insecure right now because of what happened, whether it was a divorce or something else, this Nine of Pentacles reverse is insecure. However, they're hard at work on something. They were ignoring their intuition. Someone here was ignoring their intuition, but is now seeing clearly enough that they're revisiting an old choice and or there's renewed interest here. So something that they were interested in before, suddenly they're interested in again. And I feel like it has to do with a partnership here with Emperor and Queen of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Cups reversed. So this what I'm getting is someone has made a decision here. There were many options and someone chose one. Anything else? King of Pentacles upright. So we have a partnership here for sure. I have a queen and a king here with an emperor as well. I'm getting the sense there's a lot of people here. So you'll, you'll know your situation best. This could be a third party situation where someone was married and is no longer married or in a commitment anymore. Um, someone could be having their eye on someone else here or someone's just focused on re rebuilding their confidence or stability. Tell me about the Queen of Wands reversed. Yeah, this person is emotionally unstable. And it doesn't have to be forever. It could be that whatever happened was so over the top, was so crazy. Um, I have the devil reverse. So I get the feeling someone's been broke free. So someone possibly was extremely upset at whatever happened. So upset that they were deep in their emotions, angry, probably blew up. 
Tell me more about this Queen of Wands reversed. And I have a feeling that it has to do with whatever, whatever came to light. Magician reversed. There could have been manipulation here or something that was not able to be created. Somebody was not able to manifest something here. And they were very upset about that. Tell me about Queen of Wands reversed. Yep, Five of Swords. Arguments, words exchanged. Someone here, um, it was a lose-lose situation. Someone walked away from a fight, possibly as well. They're over it. This person's over it, is what I'm getting. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles reversed. What's this about for Leo? Two of Wands reversed. Something no longer has the potential that you once thought it did. I feel like you're ready to let go of this. Tell me more. Yep. Ace of Wands, you want a new beginning. Yep. Tell me about the Hierophant reversed. Why is the Hierophant reversed? The Fool reversed. This person, I feel like whoever this is, that's it's like they're being rebellious, even taking risks they normally wouldn't. Possibly a little bit reckless, but it's like they they don't care. They don't have they don't have any more Fs to give. Yeah, they're healing from a situation here. They're overcoming this betrayal, this heartbreak. And look at what's at the bottom of the deck. Temperance. I feel like this is healing that's taking place here rebalancing someone's trying to get something to mesh together to work together here tell me about the hermit someone's listening to their inner voice again is what i'm getting with the hermit tell me about the hermit five of cups reversed again Someone I feel like is overcoming this disappointment. They could be getting something back as well, like I said. Tell me more about the Hermit. Knight of Wands reversed. I feel like someone's leaving this, this, this energy of Knight of Wands reversed. This is someone who's um, a player who's only in it for themselves doesn't care who they hurt, is in and out of people's lives, non-committal. This is someone that does not want to commit. And I feel like it's someone from your past, Six of Cups. This could be someone that you have children with or someone that has children, doesn't have to be. It could be somebody here that um, I feel like you're looking at the past differently. You're seeing a player for what they truly were. You're seeing someone for who they truly were. And again, I have the moon reversed. You are seeing something for what it truly is at this point, Leo. Tell me about the Knight of Swords reversed. I felt like someone hurt you with their words, with what they said, with what was said. You could also have blocked this person. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. The Lovers, yep. This was a breakup. Someone made a bad choice here as well. This is the wrong choice. The lovers reverse is someone who made a wrong choice who didn't didn't think about or didn't know enough at the time to make the right choice. We got the hangman reverse again with not seeing clearly. This is also someone refusing to let go. You could have someone that's refusing to let this situation go. Someone here is probably trying to get in the middle of your movement this is also um refusing to see things for what they were i feel like at one point you couldn't see you couldn't see this person for who they truly were possibly because they were manipulative or they hid things from you tell me about the knight of swords reverse one more please look at that wheel of fortune a huge change is taking place here Notice also, in this card and this card, 
They're both holding what looks like to be Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this is divine timing. Things are happening exactly how they were supposed to happen here. I feel like it's going to bring you something you really want with the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Freedom, possibly. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Nine of Wands for Leo, please. Ten of Wands reversed. Love it. So someone here has been way burdened. This has been a burden here. I feel like this is changing. Someone's dropping this burden completely because they can't take it anymore. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands. I feel like Spirit stepped in to relieve you of this burden. Again, flip the roles as they resonate because it wasn't successful. Possibly somebody also was in it for the wrong reasons or wanting to keep this going for the wrong reasons because you, it was expected of you because that's what other people wanted. That's what other people, you know, it's like the situation where someone's like, oh, you guys seem to have the perfect relationship, but they don't know what it's really like behind the scenes. Tell me more about the nine of wands. Tell me more about the nine of wands. seven of pentacles yep i feel like someone here is looking at they're thinking where do i invest now like where do i put in my effort now am i going to find someone else that cares about me am i going to find someone else to really love me it's like there's like a doubt here right like someone's looking at what they've done so far and they're not happy with it so they're wondering if anything's going to happen for them if anything's going to grow for them with the empress in reverse here yeah someone was found out someone lied to you or wasn't honest and they were found out and it made you weak for a time or you lost your confidence for a time yeah and you like r someone ran away here because they were they didn't have the courage to face what they did this wheel of fortune is very interesting to me and nothing's going to be the same for you with this wheel of fortune and you are going into the unknown so it makes sense that there's doubt there's hesitation here let's see tell me more about this wheel of fortune what can we expect with this Wheel of Fortune? What can we expect with this Wheel of Fortune? Okay, the higher font reversed again. So this wheel possibly got all of this moving here. This whole situation of you saying, F it, I don't care what anybody thinks. I'm gonna do what's best for me. I'm gonna be rebellious. knight of pentacles reversed yeah you you basically this is somebody that wasn't able to commit or follow through on their promises this person i feel like this wheel of fortune is this per is helped you see something for what it was that it wasn't going anywhere one more please for leo i feel like this is possibly something that wasn't easy but it's necessary. Yeah, for something new, page of wands. You need to go through this realization so that you can go after something new. Something that you're truly passionate about. Something that actually is emotionally fulfilling. Because I feel like you've been depleted. You haven't felt loved in a long time is what I'm getting. Or you, you felt like love wasn't there for you and look at this eight of wands this is all about movement i know people say it's communication but it's movement as well cupid's arrow so i do feel like you're gonna get go towards something that's actually emotionally fulfilling for you now that you've been set free and let me tell you 
I'd rather know someone for who they truly are sooner rather than later. What else do you have for Leo spirit? What messages do you have for Leo? Let's see what we have from the romance angels for you, Leo. What messages do you have for Leo? messages do you have for Leo? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay, what else do we have for Leo? Ooh. Okay, we got a bunch here. We got love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. We got playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. We got separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So I'm getting a few things here. Obviously, we know that there's a separation on the on the board. I see a separation here in various different ways. Um, it could be also that you're separated from the person that you want to express your love to as well. So you could be living at a distance from someone or something like that. Um, and you're not able to really sh share how you feel. Um, possibly because you are worried about your separation or something here. Something here has, has, has divided something. Um, either a connection, a marriage, or relationship, or something that's starting to get off the ground. There's a, an obstacle here is what I see. With love yourself first and playfulness, I'm getting someone who has not been happy for a long time, who needs to um, recognize their worth, possibly doesn't have a lot of confidence or lost their confidence due to whatever happened. Um, I feel like you need to be a little bit more uh, forgiving of yourself here. With give your relationship a chance, I really um, am getting a few things from this. Um, Obviously, I honestly don't think that this person here, I feel like this, this situation where there was an unjust um, outcome where someone here played dirty because that's, that's the energy that I'm getting. I don't think that you need to give that relationship a chance again. I don't see that because I see you breaking free, almost recklessly breaking free into the unknown. So I don't think this is about a past relationship. I think this is give love a chance. This is not all love is terrible, Leo. This is open your heart for what could be out there is the energy that I'm getting here. You know, if you already have someone in mind that you've been talking to, but you haven't really moved forward, um, you haven't really expressed your love for this person, then it's possibly because you haven't given this person a chance, this new person. Or there could be obstacles in your connection, like I said. There's a, there's a there's an obstacle here for this to take off, um, if that's the case. If this is someone you're already in a connection with, apart from whoever this is. Thank you so much for watching, Leo. I hope that this reading resonated with you. I hope that you um, got some sort of clarity from it. I hope it wasn't too confusing. Thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed. Please consider liking or subscribing if you enjoy my readings. I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.